on tonight's episode of Top. Wait. In this episode of Weekend Wheeling, we throw some rocks. Dave's winch doesn't disengage. Not disengage. And I lose my brakes. Yeah, I got a new problem. My brakes going on the floor. What? They got some cool brake lines. All this and more coming up on Weekend Wheeling. Over the weekend, myself and several other members of Bay State Jeeping went up to Old Florida Road for some weekend fun. Things started off well as we approached the first obstacle, which I've always known as the Gatekeeper. Dave, leading our group, attempted the obstacle first. David attempted the obstacle and decided to pull cable. While this worked well initially, Dave's winch eventually gave up the ghost and would no longer spool in or out. You know, I mean, there's no way I'm getting over this thing. You can't back up. If you pull up a little bit, take the tension off, and put off three spool. Mm -hmm. And then you might be able to back out. Okay. You know what I mean? I do. But then I'm turning around and going home because oh. I, I'm not going to get over this thing. Uh, well, somebody else can winch you up. Right. Somebody else can help turn around and winch you up. Well, okay. That works. That's one option. All right, well, see what I can do. Faced with the problem of having one jeep halfway up the rock, we decided to pull another jeep in front of Dave and finish pulling him up. With Dave finally over the obstacle, we began the task of getting the rest of the jeeps up. Ken said it best here.
time to get my jeep from the gatekeeper. All went well until this happened. With my left front brake line leaking fluid all over the trail, I attempted to fix it twice before giving up and backing my Jeep up to let the rest of the Jeeps go. Sadly, the only Jeep to make it up without using a winch today was Ken, and being preoccupied with my brakes, I didn't film his line. About this, Ken was rather upset. Feeling all hope was lost and my Jeep was unable to be fixed safely on the trail, I was able to find a spare bolt and thread that into the distribution block to now keep my brakes from leaking. Reinvigorated, I radioed ahead and decided to rejoin the group. I had to pull cable on myself once to get over a particularly tough section of wet and loose rock and continue onwards to the next ledge. After attempting the ledge twice without success, I was blessed with several of my buddies having walked back down the trail and attempted to spot me up the ledge. I was not successful. joined the group, I did my best to film and drive without slowing the group down any more than I already had. Yeah. I was there, but I didn't see it. So, you've got a winch, you've got a snatch block, right? I got another snatch block. You don't? Okay. I got a, I got a snatch. Actually, I have a snatch block somewhere. I got a snatch block. Okay. So. So we'll just hook it up to to one of these trees here. That's what I'm thinking. I'm, yeah. I'm thinking uh, I'll just walk to like that tree and just right, and then that'll across. just pull it. Yeah, just pull it right across. Yeah. And I'd... Staying clear. We ran into our next roadblock in the form of a downed tree. With the use of a snatch block and a strap, we pulled the tree aside, opening the gate to the rest of the trail. It's coming. Let's, let's 
got it. I got it. All right. All right. It worked. Wow. <laughs> you must be good at pool. <laughs> said before, you can't whine about body damage, and if you break something, it's an excuse to upgrade it. Stay tuned for more episodes of Weekend Wheeling. The first ledge fights us. <laughs> <laughs>